Firstly, I want to say Happy New Year to everyone, and I hope you have an amazing 2024. Dying Light 1. This game is truly a timeless classic, and I don't think this game will ever get too old. There is always fun to be had, and a new breath of life whenever you play this game, no matter what the year is. I honestly can see myself coming back to this game in 7 years time and still having fun. If you guys enjoy, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as literally 0% of you watching are subscribed. That's right, 0%. So if you're watching and the subscribe button is still red, Click it. Let's get started. Okay, guys, we are in back in the beautiful world of Dying Light, and we are going to be playing from the beginning of the following. First thing I noticed is the scenery. Everything about the scenery is just so nice. It is nice to be back in this game. The parkour feels good. The movement feels good. Nice and responsive. The graphics look good as well. There's something about this game's graphics that just look... I can't put my hand on it exactly, but something about Dying Light 2's graphics look like cartoony. I can't really put my hand on it. But where the difference between the two games is, is in the engine itself. And Dying Light 1's engine, I honestly prefer the look to this engine than I do to Dying Light 2's. It also runs a lot smoother. Oh, oh no, oh no! <laughs> Oh, I messed up. Uh-oh, sponsor alert. This video is sponsored by Honkai Star Rail, which in my opinion is the best mobile game in the Google Play and App Store. Honkai Star Rail is a new multi-platform space fantasy RPG from Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. It's a free cross-platform RPG and is available on PC, PS5, and mobile devices. It also has shared data between all of these platforms. This game is very easy to pick up, yet highly tactical, allowing you to conjure unique team lineups and build your own strategy. Honkai Star Rail has also recently introduced introduced a new limited 5 star character called Ron May. She is an elegant and beautiful biologist dressed in eastern attire and she has a unique ability of increasing the break efficiency for all allies. In combat she is an ice type character that allows the path of harmony, capable of supporting her allies by increasing SPD and break effects. However she is not the only new character that's been added. Allow me to introduce you to Dr. Ratio. Dr. Ratio is a graceful and poised classic Adonis with a particular personality. His interests and priorities lie in furthering the decimation of knowledge. Now in combat that Dr. Ratio is an imaginary type character possessing powerful follow up attacks and will gain various power buffs based on the debuffs his enemy suffers. Honkai Star Rail also recently had a version 1.6 game update. In this update, you will head to the space station to assist Ron May in solving an issue. In this update, you will also get to try out the new 4 star character, Shui Yi, a quantum type character following the path of destruction who can deplete enemy toughness. The space station's new story will take place in a brand new map called the Seclusion Zone. And don't miss out on this chance, the highly sought after Hunters, Blade and Kafka will be returning in the 1.6 update. Log into Honkai Star Rail on the 17th of January 2024 and you can receive one copy of the 5 star character Dr. Ratio. So hurry and head to the game and claim this present. Download the game using the link in the description and experience these new characters. And be sure to use the redemption code below to redeem 50 Stellar Jade for free. Okay, back to the video. Alright, let's try that again. Hopefully this time I don't kill myself. Alright, let's go. We gotta dive in the water. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, why is there no diving animation in Dying Light 2? I just realized. That's actually poor. There is no diving animation in Dying Light 2. Hello, miss. You're my first zombie I've encountered in this game. Wait, did she just throw a hammer at me? And for that, you must die. Okay, our objective is to find someone who knows more about the rumor. I think that's the rumor about the people who are immune to the infection, right? Look how many zombies there are. Okay, yeah, I can't bother to fight you guys right now. Let's get inside. What? <laughs> What? Just teleported over here. Find someone in charge. I right, just see where are you? Family troubles. Damn. Yo, Eski, don't worry about him. It's about me and you right now. Yo, just see what, what are you doing to my girl? Yo, why do why do you run like that in this game? Why is he running like that? It's so weird. Uh, look for a vehicle at the nearest farm, 200 meters away. Damn, that lens flare is crazy. Can't see anything in front of me. But you see, this lens flare here is like, it's bad, like, as in like you can't see, but it, it actually looks and feels realistic in comparison to Dying Light 2's one. But how do I get in here? Oh yeah, I gotta take these guys out. Alright, stealth, stealth. We're going stealth. Yeah, they got no idea what him. Sneaky bicky. Yo, the music slapping. Okay, okay, I'm getting distracted, but damn, that slapped. Who's talking? Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, my. 
Okay, note to self, do not play with these guys and their guns because they will kill you. Yo, they shredded my health. Throw shot. I miss. Okay, do you remember when I said not to play with them? Yeah, I played with them and I found out. Yo, the beat is going hard. Yo, my name is Jamie playing Dying Light 1. This shit's so fun and we got guns. Okay, they're all dealt with. Here is the highlight of Dying Light 1 in my opinion. The buggy. When Dying Light 2's DLC 2 comes out, there better be a vehicle. A dirt bike, something. Come on, we need a vehicle. This vehicle honestly made like this DLC. It, this, this vehicle sealed the deal for this game. Out the way. Do that reverse bay park. Hello. Alright, uh, so about you and me, baby girl. Oh, she's so bad. I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. Oh, trust me. <laughs> I can't return the favor. Yo, she wants me. Yo, guys. Look at who I got at the front of my car. Imagine meeting someone for the first time and they have a bobblehead of you inside their car. That is some serious stalker stuff right there. Hello, man. How you doing? Wait, are you bad, guys? Am I gonna have to kill you? Oh, guns. The good old days. We'll be seeing you very soon in Dying Light 2. Hopefully the gunplay is going to be good though. Bow! Why is there a goon down there? Who do you think you are? Bow! Yeah, sit down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? It just flew away. Fingers are crossed, bro. Oh, oh no, what's happening? I, I, I. Let's go, let's go. We're on a time limit. Get in the whip quickly. Out the way, one of these. Ain't got time for you. Ow, oh, gotta follow this pipeline. Oh my, I love vehicles so much. There needs to be a vehicle in Dying Light too. I just love vehicles. Oh no, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Oh, uh, guys, guys, oh no, I kick it, oh no, uh, okay, I can reset, go, 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 roll out, ow, Go, 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 go! Hey, where's the entrance? Oh. Oh, here it is. And we've saved the day. Carl Crane to the rescue. Okay, we are back. Now we've got to go speak with Jasir after we've saved the day. Maybe he'll trust us a bit more now. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. Yep, you are wrong. So, Jasir, now that I've saved the day, can I have your daughter as my wife? Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. New level of trust. We are now a stranger. Uh, so it's basically like the help the people at the bazaar mission. You just gotta do some random side quests in order to gain their trust, that kind of stuff. We've got to meet Bilal at a gas station. Okay, I'm gonna end the video here. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this part. I hope you enjoyed what you saw so far. Obviously, I can't put like a lot of it in one video because I'm not trying to make like some half an hour videos. But um, yeah, I might do a series, like a following series playthrough in parts, but it all depends on you guys. If you wanna see it, just let me know and I'll be sure to do that. So thank you for watching and peace out.